Now if you have one of these, a tankless water heater, you may have one of these, an acid neutralizer, which dumps into one of these, a condensate pump, which sends the wastewater out through this vinyl tube, across over and into your stack, which goes down along the wall and eventually out to the street. Now the concept is the tankless water heater is very efficient and creates very acidic condensate. When it comes down into this acid neutralizer, it's supposed to neutralize the acidity in the water before sending it out to the sewer because it could damage metal pipes. Now I have PVC for my sewer pipe, but this may also be code in my area or your area, which is why they installed it. And your unit may be dumping directly into a floor drain like this without an acid neutralizer. Now, some of the eagle eyes amongst you may have noticed this, a little orange thing. And that's your indicator to tell you that the media needs replaced. And there's just a magnet here, and that's how you reset it. Now, I believe when enough pressure gets built up because of gunk down here, this little orange tab pops up and it tells you that it's time to change out the media. The first thing I'm gonna do is power off the unit. And I'll just put a bucket down here to catch any water that might spill. I should be able to just twist this off. If not, there's a little fitting down here and you can just use an adjustable wrench to grab on there and get some leverage. Nice, that just broke loose. So let's see what we got. Well, there's gunk in here. It's kind of nasty. Hmm. One side's all white, the other side's all gunked up. Okay, I guess. Well, I'm just going to dump them out here into a bag. Inside there. Ew. Gunk. Time to say goodbye to the old media. They say in the directions to clean this out. I found a toothbrush was about the only thing I could get down in there and I can't get all this out of there. So I cleaned it the best that I could. Now would be a good time to inspect this gasket. Maybe use some silicone grease if it's leaking. Now this first time I bought the Navian media because I didn't know the size and amount. I think this is about three pounds of these beads, but you can purchase it on Amazon or eBay cheaper. It's probably just limestone or something anyway. They send you about three pounds, I think, of this media, and they say in the directions to fill up both sides evenly. I'm just going to use a cup to dump in the new media. So that's about how much mine filled up there. It's even on both sides and about up to this lip. Also, I wanted to mention, I just put a cup on the bottom of this because this little square tab down here is not very stable. So I just put it inside a cup and it's much better. So now that we're back, we're just gonna take this, put it up in here, grab the threads and screw it back on. and then power the unit back on. And then I'll go over to the utility sink and draw some hot water so the unit kicks on. So there we go. I'm going to leave the bucket under here for a couple days to make sure nothing leaks, but I think we'll be good. One last thing I wanna mention is this thing was installed about a year ago and my tube, vinyl tube coming out of here was all filled with black mildew inside a couple months in. And the solution to this was supposedly to pop this little cap off here and pour in a few cups of white vinegar. And they did come out actually and replace my tube and now it looks clear and it's been good for a couple weeks or a month or so. 
And I'm thinking vinegar is acidic, so if the answer is to put acidity back in the water, then why are we removing it in the first place, which leaves this mildew? Anyway. And I hope this has been informative for you, and as always, thank you for watching.